welcome to this tutorial about screen recorders. Today I am using Camtasia. We will be going over Camtasia, Hypercam 2, and Fraps. I do not own Fraps though, so I will not be able to give any feedback on how they work together. But I do have some thoughts that I might have on Fraps. First of all, Hypercam probably takes up half as much space as Camtasia. Hypercam is free, Camtasia is not. Hypercam, you can buy a license for it, and if it's unregistered, which means you didn't pay for it, Hypercam, it'll just pop up in the corner that says unregistered Hypercam. It's pretty small, to be honest. I mean, mine's still unregistered, so. Uh, but the thing with Hypercam is Hypercam does not have as good quality as Camtasia does. I've been using Camtasia on all of my videos. And as you can well see, the quality is pretty good. So, Hypercam, you can, when you, with Hypercam, you, once you finish your movie or video, it goes to one of those movie labels. With Camtasia, when you finish your video, it goes to its own editor. Um, Camtasia editing has room for up to three audio tracks. The first one is dedicated for to only audio that goes with the vi video. So, for instance, this microphone will be connected to audio 1. Then you have a audio 2, which could be music, and then you have audio 3, which is like a uh, audio 3, which can be something else. Um, it's also its own editor, and you can put in things, stuff like that. Um, Hypercam is a more simple design. Um, really, it easy. It's easy to use. Uh, takes up a lot less space than Camtasia. Camtasia videos take a lot longer to up upload, and Hypercam videos are quicker. As you can see here, it's basically saying it's unregistered, so it'll have that little unregistered sign at the top. This is the entire Hypercam. It's saying it will use our screen at the top. Camtasia also has that, and I've never really used them because I just keep on using my phone because I don't really want to pay for a different one. And so there it is there. Now our third one is going to be Fraps. Fraps um, is video is also a screen recorder, but you may know that everybody who does those YouTube videos has a little fraps in the back area, like whether they're going to play World of Warcraft or any game like that. It'll have fraps up in the corner, up in the top, in the middle ish, or the, all those Flight Simulator videos. Um, Camtasia does not work, and Hypercam does not work. They both do not work um, with games. You have to have fraps. I'm pretty sure that fraps is one of the only game things that game screen recorders out there. Um, you have to buy fraps. I believe it's twenty dollars. Um, yeah. So fraps. does not work on Call of Duty 4 on desktop on Windows. Well, it does not work for on Call of Duty 4. Like, it does not screen record on computers. And here's the frap page. It's just fraps and frps dot com. Um, that's basically it. So, 